Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. As part of setting up development environment, um, we we have seen how to set up Hortonworks sandbox using virtualization software. With respect of the virtualization software, uh, we have to take care of certain tasks so that we can actually explore the, all the big data technologies uh, in detail. So one of the things, uh, one of those tasks is to set up the MySQL database. As part of this video, I will try to review the MySQL database, which is already there in the Hortonworks sandbox. Um, and then we will create a new database uh, called retail underscore DB. And also we will create the tables and insert the data. So MySQL is a multi-tenant database. The way you can uh, log into MySQL is by running this command called MySQL hyphen u root enter in Hortonworks sandbox. Uh, password is not enabled for root and you don't need to worry about setting a password for root you just have to uh, log in uh, you can log in uh, as root directly for the mysql installation and mysql is a multi-tenant database and uh, you can actually uh, list the databases by running show databases command okay and you can see there are several databases one of them is retail underscore db which i have created a few minutes back and uh, the syntax to create the database is create database retail underscore db it's here which will create the database and uh, as i have mentioned to you mysql is a multi-tenant database and uh, except retail underscore db all the databases are provided as part of the sandbox itself and then i have created this uh, database once you create a database you have to either grant the permissions to existing user or create the new user and then grant the permissions so you can uh, create the user like this, create user retail underscore dbi is the username, identified by the password. You can give whatever password you want. And then you have to grant the permissions on the database to the user. So the database name is retail underscore db and the username is retail underscore dba. So now by logging in as uh, retail underscore dba, you can create the tables and you can uh, do whatever you want. and. Uh, um, uh, for uh, learning big data in future, uh, we, uh, uh, in future courses, uh, uh, tools such as Scoop, Spark, etc., uh, can leverage the MySQL database, which we will, uh, which we have created, if we have tables in that. And for the tables, I have my GitHub account. Okay, I'm going to my GitHub account. There is a, my GitHub account is uh, dgajiraju. This is the one. And there is a repository called code. In the repository code, there is a directory called Hadoop, which have edw directory. So this is the path code Hadoop edw. And then there is a directory called database. And there is a return underscore db dot sql script. You can click on this script. Click on view raw. And then you can right click on this. It's a big file, so it will take a little bit of time. It's a few megabytes file. Click on save as and save it as dot SQL script in the path uh, you want. So I'll be creating in the downloads, save, use SQL. Already there is a file, I'm just replacing it. For you, you will not see that error. So the file is copied. And you can see that file as part of the downloads, it's 10.3 MB file. Okay. Now we have to copy this file to the uh, sandbox. And there are multiple ways to do that. You can come out of the sandbox and then use the SCP command. So it's under downloads, retail underscore db dot SQL. And then uh, I have already shown you how to use SSH and connect to the sandbox earlier. So depending upon uh, the type of sandbox, uh, the type of virtualization, virtualization software you use to set up the sandbox, the syntax will differ a little bit. Especially if you are using VirtualBox, you have to pass the port number also. So you, you can say, uh, so we first have to give the uh, username and 
local host at the host name but uh, the port number hyphen p2222 is mapped to uh, this uh, uh, mapped to a process that is running on the local host okay so we have to use hyphen p2222 if you if we use virtual box sandbox if you use uh, um, uh, VMware uh, if you use sandbox on VMware you just have to say root at the rate of the IP address of the VMware so the instructions are already there where, um, as part of uh, setting up the VM uh, using underlying virtualization software if it is virtual box you have to do this otherwise you have to give the IP address of the uh, sandbox if you use VMware fusion or workstation uh, to set up the sandbox and then you have to give the path I want to copy to the home directory and hit enter. Okay, the command is incorrect. Just give me a moment. So it's uh, it's a CP hyphen capital P, not the small p. That's why it failed earlier as I have passed using hyphen p. And also you have to give immediately after SCP, uh, not at the end. Okay, and then we have to give the password. So we the retail on db.sql is copied to the uh, remote host. So again, you have to use um, um, this uh, um, connect string with username at the rate of uh, host name, depending upon the uh, underlying virtualization software you use. So this is this command is for virtual box. If it is uh, a VMware Workstation or Fusion you don't specify the port number you just have to give root at the rate of IP address of that host and I have covered that as part of uh, earlier videos where I have shown how to set up uh, Hotmox Sandbox on the virtual machine uh, sorry VMware workstation or VMware fusion that being said now I can connect back uh, connect again to to the host using sh command with the hyphen p2222 Okay, and now we can see that there is a script called retail underscore db dot sql and now we have to log into the mysql server uh, using uh, retail underscore db as user and hyphen p because we have password for that user and whatever password you have given while creating the user you have to uh, give the password and then you can run show databases to make sure this user have access to retail underscore db okay then you have to use use command to switch to return underscore db database and then you have to use source and as we are in the home directory and also as return underscore db is in the home directory alone we can use relative path return underscore db dot sql or you can use fully qualified path also so the home directory for root is slash root slash and we have return underscore db dot sql under the same directory hence we can use this command and hit enter now it has created all the several tables and also inserted into data inserted inserted data into those tables so you can run show tables command to see what all tables are created so there are six tables categories customers departments order items orders etc we can pick any table randomly order items limit 100 and see the data and it looks good you can validate all the six tables there will be data in all the six tables so that being said we will be using this uh, six tables this is a good quality data and it's a uh, e-commerce uh, uh, or retail uh, data set and uh, uh, i will cover the data model and all those things when we actually talk about uh, uh, the actual courses related to big data for now we just reviewed that there is a database set up on the sandbox and then we have created a, a database server set up on the sandbox and then we have created a database called retail underscore db created user retail underscore dba granted permissions for, uh, for retail underscore db to retail underscore dba and then we have created tables by downloading a script uh, from uh, github account and then we will be using this database as part of the uh, future courses related to big data such as scoops spark etc for now 
that is it i hope you are enjoying the content if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video so that i can improve the content for you as part of the future courses that being said bye